Morning folks, Miami Beach Audits here. Last year, Dade County passed a curfew ordinance in response to COVID. It prohibited anyone from being in public and forced businesses to close from midnight to 6 a.m. They were sued by a nightclub called Tootsies, who paid for a 5 a.m. license and the county was breaching their contract by forcing them to close earlier here. Tootsies asked for more than $2.6 million. The case was decided on September 25th. 2020, the judge ruled that the curfew was unconstitutional as it applied to people being in public, citing a 1940s U.S. Supreme Court ruling that any curfew is a violation of the right to liberty. He also ruled that while a county can regulate the hours during which the businesses may operate, once that license is granted, it becomes a binding contract and cannot be altered until its expiration without consent of both parties. And the curfew was lifted. The county appealed. And while it had taken almost six months to get the initial hearing, when Tootsie sued, the appeals court heard the county's appeal in less than 24 hours after it was filed. They upheld the lower court's ruling on the curfew of individuals, but they put a temporary stay of enforcement on the lower court's ruling as it applied to businesses. Now, the operative phrase here is temporary stay. The court's rules of procedure say that a temporary stay can last no more than 90 days. Now, the county could have applied for another injunction after the 90 days, but they didn't. So the curfew was lifted by the courts on December 27th. But the county mayor, the media, and the police are all acting like the curfew is still in effect. And the mayor has announced she'll lift it on April 5th if there isn't a spike in new cases. Now, Tootsie's has been open till 5 a.m. every night since New Year's Eve. Since then, other businesses have started following suit. 7-Elevens and gas stations are open 24. Walmart and Home Depot are opening at 5 a.m. daily. Burger King's drive through is open till 2.30 a.m. And nobody from the county's made any attempt to close or cite any of them. Because they can't. The curfew was lifted by the courts on expiration of the temporary injunction on December 27, 2020. So why won't the county admit it? Why won't the news media admit it? Buddy's still in the doorway rolling the weed. It's a man came out of the doorway and just came out and stood with his back to me, in front of me. Just incredible. Pacing back and forth in front of me with that beaver. Now the whole group's coming down toward where I am. Your feet down the street from where I am. I better head back up the other way. Take two seconds before I got this one in uniform. And you notice half of them are wearing black shirts and half of them are wearing white shirts and blue pants.
they were standing in front of me with their backs to me until I started filming and all of a sudden they take off. Here comes another one. It's leading the group and this one's tailing them. Uh, I heard two of them. One of them's training the other one. Earlier today while I was drinking my coffee. And, and he is saying, here we go again. Anyway, he's saying to him, when you see somebody sitting on the side, As you approach, pass the group from behind, and then stop in front of him with your back to him, and wait for them to pass and fall in back behind him. Now, if two of you are following the group, one of you do that, and the other one stay behind the group and start passing them as they're passing the guy who's sitting there. There's supposed to be a, a 12 o'clock curfew. Of course, it's unenforceable because the court overturned it and the stay on the overturning expired. But it's 10 minutes to 1. And the cops are riding up and down the street telling everybody there's a 12 o'clock curfew. They're forcing all the businesses to close. Businesses are closed now. This goes on until 2, 2.30 in the morning. Every night. There's no businesses in the area open, but there's hundreds and hundreds of people walking around in the streets. That guy just dropped a gun case over there and it sounded like it had a gun in it. Just put that thing down. And he goes over to the closed pizza place and starts causing problems over there. Taking a boxing stance against the owner and uh, threatening him as he's trying to take his tables and chairs inside. That's the owner of the pizza place with the goon hand on his head. Why is it that I can't stand in this doorway for more than two minutes without somebody dressed all in black coming and standing directly in front of me with his back to me? All right, so I picked up and moved down the street. See, here they come following me as soon as I move. Go back. We'll see how long it'll take before they come back again, or before another one's there. They're all over there. See that bright light right there? That's the G4S guy, all in black with the camera, who was in front of me before, taking my picture. Now he's over there taking pictures of everybody in the crowd who's uh, blocking traffic. I guess they'll run them through facial recognition at some point and see if they locate anyone they're looking for. Now we got all the traffic driving down the, car, the bicycle lane because they had it all blocked off in the traffic lane and they're trying to get around them. when we came by and dispersed the crowd over there that was blocking the traffic lane. And all of a 
a sudden, 10 cars that were driving that were stuck in traffic just decided to park over here. They're sitting there with their lights on, their engines running. I don't know what that's about. But from here all the way down to the end of the block, they took every parking space. That's a police vehicle right there. It gets tag number. But he had his blue lights flashing. Can't go more than two minutes without a problem. Here we go again. Oh, I beat her, dude. I pulled her up. This time they actually came into the doorway and surrounded me. So I'm heading down the street. They waited for the crowd to pass it forward behind them, followed them down the street. I couldn't film it the whole time they were standing here because I'm running low on drive space. So I'm gonna have to stop filming and start editing my shit. Battery's getting low. I have to get it on the charger. And I'm running out of space on the drive to store any videos. So that's it. So now you see what I have to go through every night this month. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. This is Miami Beach Audits. I'm out. See you on the next one.